If you've never been to Lake Tahoe and you love the outdoors, you should go. Those of y'all from the Midwest, it's like Wisconsin, but with mountains. In the winter, Lake Tahoe is known for skiing. In the summer, you can do all kinds of things from water sports, hiking, camping, anything outdoors, you name it. Today, I'm out here for my boy's bachelor party, but I just so happen to bring a pole with me. A fishing pole, to be exact. So stay tuned, let's see what I can get. But first, let me show y'all the Airbnb that we staying at. You're watching, cook it up. This is our crib, dude, this place is nice as fuck. Dude, look at this shit. Someone turn on the light, we gotta do it. This is a cabin, son. Oh, hell yeah, dude, look at these burners that we got over here. Mm. Dude, their pantry stock too. Somebody already claimed this room. I think there's a basement as well. Are these also rooms? Oh! The other rooms must be downstairs. We'll check it out later. You guys want to play some bags real quick? Haha! <laughs> oh! What's up? If I brought my fishing license, do I need a do I need a Nevada fishing license too? Yeah. But this body of water is managed by both, so you just need to have one or the other. But you can't build a fire right now. It's because it's fire season already. No charcoal, no barbecues. So to get to our boat, which was anchored up further out in the lake, we had to take a little boat. And if you're ever in North Lake Tahoe and you need a boat, hit up Rent a Boat Tahoe. They got everything you need when it comes to water activities. You can drive the boat yourself or you can hire a captain. The captain that we got is super chill. We guaranteed to have a good time. Just make sure you tip your captain well. This will, this will give you hypothermia, man. Yeah. Uh, like 20 minutes in this, you're gonna be frozen. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you. The, the green pumpkin. Okay. And this is a, a half ounce jig. That's a half ounce jig? Jig, jig. Oh. So what's good about this setup? Is it, so what's what's going through your head? Like how do you decide? Um, what you I've never fished this when? water before, but this is what I'm most familiar with. Okay. And since we're on a boat, you can go straight down, right? You right, can just right. Jig. You can just jig, right? I don't know. I've never fished these waters before. And I don't know, if, I don't have enough line to go all the way to the bottom, obviously. But. Not a thousand feet on my reel, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just threading it. Lake Tahoe at its deepest point is about 1,644 feet. That's like the Sears Tower going into the ground. There's gonna be no way my reel's gonna reach that. Swim, mate. I'm gonna jig for now, but then yeah, on the way in or something, we could try trolling. I just don't know if I have enough line on this reel. All right, y'all, first cast. Look at this, how clear this water is. Look at that, look at that swim. Water sports, man. Water sports. You gotta stand with your Okay. Let's see how deep it is. I don't think I have enough line to go all the way down. Still driving. Wait, did it stop? I'm just gonna let it go. Oh shit, dude, I can see the reel. I'll just let it drip down. I'm just gonna jig, dude. Look how deep this lake is, yo! <laughs> just jigging, just jigging the swim bait. Jig it up. I might have to try the front of the boat. <laughs> I just don't want to get caught in the motor, you know? Jig it up. Come on, fishy. Come on, salmon. Come yeah. on, salmon. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I get, uh, what, like, I don't even know what type of vicious lake has. Salmon, dude. Salmon. Oh, it does? Salmon, trout. Okay. 
Salmon and trout are the are two big ones. Are walleye like a river fish? No, uh, that's a freshwater, but I don't, I don't know if they have them here though. Yeah, I got it. I feel like freshwater fish are so ugly. They are. Uh, yeah. Ocean fish, yeah. yeah ocean fish no, there's some so ugly far. ocean fish too. There are. You guys know what Daiso is? Yeah. Daiso's like the dollar store, no, no, right? No, I know. What'd you get? Oh, they're lures. Though. Yeah, I got lures from I've Daiso. Never, I've, Check it out. Wrong. Switched it up. Got this jig from Daiso. See this Daiso jig, Daiso jig. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Down, down, down she goes. No. Didn't get nothing. Dude, this water is so deep. They're about to like release it to the water. Yeah, maybe we'll uh just go over to that other point. Alright, let me reel up real quick. No catches for us today, but thanks for sticking around. Shout out to my boy. We were out here for his bachelor party. But if I had to plan a strict fishing trip, strictly a fishing trip, I would highly recommend using a charter, especially if you don't know the area and if you don't know the spots. Some of these places are hard to get to. I'm not saying you can't fish from shore, but there are, it's, it's difficult. You gotta know the depths. If you go on a charter, they'll get you to the fish. They'll find the fish. And then seeing how they do things, maybe you can pick up a thing or two. Um, and then maybe next time, if you run a boat, you can do it yourself, you know? But unfortunately, no catches today. Sorry we didn't get much action. But I'm happy I got to enjoy time with my boys. And I'm happy we got to enjoy the scenery and the Gemma Tahoe cook it up.